There are so many reasons not to skip breakfast. So many savory, mouth-watering, tasty, delicious beyond all belief reasons. Actually, that last one was pretty convincing. Stop by for a McDonald's breakfast. Mix and match a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, sausage burrito, or hash browns. Any two for just two bucks. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Stand out from all the rest by becoming a CFA charter holder. As the investment industry evolves, professionals need the tools to evolve with it. When you become a CFA charter holder, you're not only developing real-world skills and expertise, you're demonstrating to employers that you have what it takes to thrive. In fact, more than 80% of those who earn the CFA charter say it boosted their career. Sound interesting? Go to cfainstitute.org slash learn to find out more about the Level 1 CFA exam. Welcome to Find Your Daily Calm, your daily dose of calm. I hope you are seated or lying down and relaxed. Please be mindful that you should not be driving or operating any heavy equipment while listening to this podcast. Thank you and may peace be upon you. Does prayer and meditation work? Does it help us in finding our daily calm? According to psychologist Michelle Rad, in regard to science, studies done of brain activities on prayer and meditation have indicated that people who engage in these activities on a regular basis have a change in the frontal lobes. This is the area that controls concentration and focus. When one is in a state of deep prayer, the parietal lobe's power goes down, which can contribute to a sense of transcendence. Furthermore, it has been indicated that people who pray and meditate on a regular basis have some permanent changes to the brain. Self-aware people who have been meditating with clear intention for 15 years or more seem to have thicker frontal lobes than non-meditators. The frontal lobes are involved in motor function, problem-solving, spontaneity, memory, language, initiation, judgment, impulse control, rationality, and social and sexual behavior. Prayer and meditation can influence our state of mind, which then have an effect on our state of body. It can help with anxiety, sadness, blood pressure, sleep, digestion, and breathing. It also can influence thinking. These, over time, can change the brain activity and ultimately the subjective and objective experiences of us in the world. At the end, prayer and meditation are like anything else in life. They are positive if they help you with having more focus, having motivation to find a deep meaning, becoming more moral, patient, tolerant, accountable, responsible, objective, and rational. Whatever religious, social, or ethnic group you are affiliated with, most, if not all, will agree that calm and bliss can be obtained through the daily practice of meditation and prayer. Today, we will listen to an introspective and meditative short story entitled The Need for Struggle by Christopher Notes and the Marian poem Lovely Lady Dressed in Blue by Mary Dixon Thayer. The poem was popularized in the 1950s by the venerable Bishop Fulton Sheen. Both literary works were read by the beautifully calming voice of Abby Mercado. A man found a cocoon of the emperor moth and took it home to watch it emerge. One day, a small opening appeared and for several hours, the moth struggled, but couldn't seem to force its body past a certain point. Deciding something was wrong, the man took a pair of scissors and snipped the remaining bit of cocoon. The moth emerged easily, its body large and swollen, 
the wings, small and shriveled. He expected that in a few hours the wings would spread out in their natural beauty. But they did not. Instead of developing into a creature free to fly, the moth spent its life dragging around a swollen body and shriveled wings. The constricting cocoon and the struggle necessary to pass through the tiny opening are God's way of forcing fluid from the body into the wings. The merciful snip was in reality cruel. Sometimes the struggle is exactly what we need. Lovely lady dressed in blue, teach me how to pray. God was just your little boy. Tell me what to say. Did you lift him up sometimes, gently on your knee? Did you sing to him the way my mother did to me? Did you hold his hand at night? Did you ever try telling stories of the world? Oh, and did he cry? Do you really think he cares if I tell him things? Little things that happen. And do the angel's wings make a noise? And can he hear me if I speak low? Does he understand me now? Tell me, for you know. Lovely lady dressed in blue, teach me how to pray. God was just your little boy, and you know the way. You just heard The Need for Struggle by Christopher Notes and Lovely Lady Dressed in Blue by Mary Dixon Thayer. Both literary works read by Abby Mercado. You may find Abby at Instagram at loveabbyofficial and on YouTube in her channel Abby Mercado. The soothing tunes you heard was from ambient feelings and self-soothing, relaxing music. Both artists are found on YouTube. We'll hear more about how Abby finds her daily calm in the coming episodes. Thank you for listening. May peace be upon you. Be the candidate investment firms are looking to hire. Become a CFA charter holder. Stand out for having the skills to thrive in the competitive investment industry. Visit cfainstitute.org slash learn to find out more about the Level 1 CFA exam. We can sum up McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. Crispy. But also juicy and tender. Maybe crispy, juicy, tender. All one word? Okay, fine. You'll just have to try our crispy chicken sandwich to understand it. Get a free medium fries and medium soft drink with purchase of any crispy chicken sandwich. Available only on the app. Price of participation may vary. McDonald's app download and registration required.